Linear Regression, section 9.2. So we're going to find the equation of a regression line, predict y values using a regression equation, and find residual values. So first, what is it? After verifying that a linear correlation between two variables is significant, next we determine the equation of the line that best models the data, which we're going to call a regression line. It can be used to predict the value of y for a given value of x, and vice versa. A regression line, or line of best fit, is a line for which the sum of squares of the residual is a minimum. The equation of a regression line for an independent variable x and a dependent variable y is y hat equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is the y-intercept, and y hat is the predicted y value for a given x value. You can find the slope with this equation, but we're going to use Excel to do this for us. But y bar is the mean of the y values, x bar is the mean of the x values. You can practice that on your own if you would like. The regression line always passes through the point x bar, y bar. So we're going to use Excel. And so here's the advertising expenses example that we used in 9.1. We're going to make a scatter plot again, and this time we're going to click on a point, right click, and click on add trend line. And then we're going to display the equation and display the r squared value on the chart. So I'm going to go to Excel, I'm going to highlight my data, go up to Charts, Scatter, I'm going to insert a scatter plot, and then, like it said on the directions, I'm going to right click on a data value. So I need to click on just one, right click, oh. I can get it, Add Trend Line. When we add trend line, I want a linear trend line because this is a linear regression. And for my options, I want to display the equation on the chart and display our squared value on the chart. Now, mine's a little bit different than because it's a Mac, but on PCs, all of these options will actually pop up on the first page, so it's a little bit easier. Just make sure you click linear, display equation on chart, and display our value. And then Excel pops up the equation for us, which is the y hat equals mx plus b. And it gives us the r squared value, which we will discuss later as well. So for this example, here is our regression line. So back to the PowerPoint. I have put this slide on the PowerPoint. We're going to continue with discussing it here. There's the regression line we just found in Excel. So to sketch the regression line, use any two values within the range of the data and calculate the corresponding y values from the regression line. The regression equation for the advertising expenditures in thousands of dollars and company sales in thousands of dollars was as follows. We're going to use this equation to predict the expected company sales for the following advertising expenses. 1.5,000, 1.8,000, and 2.5,000. So for 1.5,000, you simply just plug that in for x, because that's the value for x, and you follow the equation. And there you get, when expenses are 1,500, company sales are about 180,115. And this, 1,500, is 1 1.5,000, just written in a different way. So 1.8,000, we would do the exact same thing and get just a little bit higher number because we have put more money in the advertising expenditures and there's a positive linear correlation. 2.5, we do the exact same thing, plug it in for X and solve for Y, and we get 230,884. So predicted values are meaningful only for X values in or close to the range of the data. The X values in the original data set range from 1.4 to 2.6. So it would not be appropriate to use a regression line to predict values or expenditures for s such as 0 0.5 or 500 or 5,000. Those are way far out of our data sets. So we're not going to get very valuable data out of that. A residual is the difference between the observed y value and the predicted y value for a given x value on the line. Here's the formula. We take the observed value and subtract the predicted value. And then here are residuals as we talked. The, we want these blue dots, which are the actual data values, to be as close to the line as possible. So the line of best fit rotates this line until it finds a perfect spot to where it minimizes these yellow dotted lines, which is the difference from the blue value to the predicted value. So example of residuals. Below is a table on the left shows input and outputs from a simple linear regression. So you can see here's the linear regression. So if I were to draw a line, it'd be right here somewhere because I want to be kind of in the middle of all those data points. 
And so here's why 70, our predicted is 65.411. So our residual would be the actual minus the predicted. And there we go, 4.5. So on and so forth. Actual minus predicted, in this case it's negative, which means it's just below the line. 70 minus 78, then again below the line. 95 minus 81, we get a positive 13. It's further away from the line, and it's above it. And then back down, pretty much the closest point, so the line must go somewhere like this, is 85 minus 87, which just means that dot is a little bit below the line. So we covered how to find the equation of a regression line, how to predict the y values using a regression equation, and how to use the and find residual values.